But the pain and mourning of losing a fellow officer, a husband and father, is only just beginning. And one woman knows just how Officer Rates' wife feels. ABC 15's Stephanie Hockridge is live with her story. Well, Steve, she works with uh, Stephanie Rates at Affiliated Dermatology. And together with the rest of Stephanie's co-workers, they put together this website, hoping to raise money for the Rates family. That was the worst day of my life ever. On August 30th, 2010, Kina Wallace's husband died in a single car crash. They'd known each other since they were just 10 years old. Sometimes I just wish, why can't he just come back? Why does he have to be gone forever? And now she's reliving every tearful moment, knowing her coworker, Stephanie Rates, is feeling that same excruciating pain of losing a spouse. 29-year-old officer Daryl Rates killed in the line of duty. And she's just going to have to go through all of the emotions that I went through. To be honest, the beginning was easier for me until it really set in that I was never going to see him again. And there's nothing you can do about it. You can't go to sleep and just say, can I wake up tomorrow and have this all disappear. And that's why Stephanie's co-workers at Affiliated Dermatology started collecting money for the Rates family. In just over one day, we're up to $8,203. What it will allow her to do is be able to pay her mortgage and not have to worry about how she's going to do that when she can't possibly come to work. And while it seems unimaginable that life could ever go on for Stephanie Rates, Kina is proof there's hope. Nearly three years after her husband's death, she's engaged and a mom to 10-month-old Liliana. I even have another one on the way. A blessing and a new path different than the one she ever imagined for herself, but a journey that somehow turned tragedy into pure love and incredible joy. Well, Kina's due on October 25th, which just happens to be her 25th birthday. And Steve and Katie, well, she'll never forget the years, the wonderful years she and Eric spent together. She says she at least just feels blessed to feel happiness once again. Yeah, giving a lot of people, I'm sure, hope that eventually they can move heal on. and move on. Absolutely. Sure.